In a previous video, I introduced the aardvark in its burrow near the house. I talked about finding its burrow, how it disappeared and then came back, and about the warthogs that seem to have taken over the burrow. The aardvark has been gone for a while now, and for a few days there was a single, presumably female warthog, that had laid claim to the burrow. The hole was quite small, so she always was seen backing in, a behavior that is apparently quite common in warthogs. We know that when female warthogs are about to give birth, sows temporarily leave their family group to give birth in a separate hole. I was thinking that maybe this sow might be pregnant and preparing a burrow for giving birth to her piglets. She worked hard to dig it deeper and enlarge it. Last year around October, one of the warthogs that were living in the front of the house gave birth to five cute little piglets but they're almost fully grown now. Anyway, then one day last week, the warthog disappeared and it didn't come back. So for a long time, well, for at least a few days, the hole didn't have anybody living in it. There are leopards and hyenas around the house, so it's conceivable that she'd become someone's food, but more likely she's just wandered off to check out other possible places to give birth. Then on Wednesday, I noticed a big horizontal hole in the ground, like a sinkhole, but small sinkhole, that seemed to go into the burrow system. At first I thought maybe it was dug, but I couldn't imagine why the animal would dig a horizontal entrance, as it would make the entire burrow system susceptible to flooding when it rains in summer. But I put out two cameras, one by the main entrance and one by the new horizontal hole, to see what might be going on there. Esther speculated, correctly as it turns out, that a big animal had just probably broken through the roof of the burrow. The first night, there was nothing recorded on the cameras. Then on the second night, there was a plausible culprit. A giraffe was seen skirting around the camera. The camera could only pick up its legs since it was so close to the ground and aimed at the hole. But I know from their other effects on the soil that big giraffes can easily sink through the roof of the burrow, especially in the loose, sandy riverbank soil where this burrow was. A couple of months ago, a big male giraffe stood right on an area with a drain pipe and broke through the soil and broke into the drain pipe. Uh, I think we can reasonably assume that this is probably what happened to the burrow because the giraffes are always moving back and forth around there. We didn't want the burrow to be exposed, just in case the warthog or even the aardvark returned, so Esther had some wood piled over the hole, and we'll continue monitoring the main entrance. We'll also keep you posted. Meanwhile, monitoring the entrance is always a learning opportunity, the most recent being catching a red-capped robin gathering insects just inside the hole. See you soon with more nature videos from around Raptor's View and beyond. <laughs>